we're learning of an agreement for the U.S. to hand over a huge part of that bold operation over Libya. And tonight, an ABC News exclusive, Martha Raddatz with extraordinary access. Behind me, you're looking at the USS Kearsarge, and that's where American jets have been taking off to pound Gaddafi targets from the Mediterranean. Martha's spending hours on board with the American commander. Tonight, the latest on these new U.S. plans to hand over partial control, and she has dramatic new details about the rescue of those U.S. pilots ejecting from 22,000 feet. And tough questions for the commander. Will this operation be a success in the end? Martha landed back at a U.S. naval base in Italy just a short time ago and has more on these late developments. Martha, good evening. Good evening, David. There are a lot of details to be worked out about that NATO plan, but we did spend a remarkable day jumping from warship to warship with the man currently in charge. General Carter Ham took charge of Africa Command on March 9th. Ten days later, he was at war. And now he is here, in the middle of the fight, touring the U.S. warships off the coast of Libya. He brought the sailors and marines some encouragement from their commander-in-chief. Uh, he said, how are the attacks going in uh, Ashtabia? And, and I said, Mr. President, the marines are hammering the shit out of them. <laughs> Today, General Ham, for the first time, saw Colonel Gaddafi daring to violate the no-fly zone, putting up an aircraft. We saw uh, a Libyan fighter jet uh, uh, taking off that was detected by a uh, French aircraft and withstanding rules of engagement appropriately uh, attacked that, that aircraft. This is the ship that sent rescue teams to pick up the downed F-15 pilot. These are the two Marine Osprey pilots who picked him up after he and his weapons officer ejected at 22,000 feet in the dead of night. It is the first time they have told their story. Uh, we saw his flare on the ground and uh, we got eyes on his position. And an airplane way up overhead at about uh, 25,000 feet was able to shine a laser down. They could hear his voice over the radio. How did he describe the situation? Uh, he was understandably a little frazzled. The Osprey descended. Uh, as soon as we set up for our approach to land, he just started bolting for the airplane. So I think he said that the, you know, he was in our dust cloud by the time we landed. So right. He was okay. running at the airplane like this. The F-15 pilot was on board seconds later. It was awesome when they said, hey, we got him. And I was like, yes. Boy, how'd that feel when you were taking off? Oh, it was awesome. When we landed, and I was like, you know what? That's probably the coolest thing I've done since I've been in the Marines. But despite that success, this is a frustrating, complicated mission for General Ham. You can't stop all the violence through air power. You can't get those snipers. You can't really tell people apart. But I believe we are and can continue to make a difference. Does it bother me that there are uh, innocent civilian people who have been slaughtered by these people while it's been my mission to protect them? I absolutely take that to heart. And the fact there is no clear end state does it surprise you that we're just now discussing what the next phase is? We could have had, and obviously would have been nice to have the, the longer debate, but he was slaughtering his own people. Uh, he can't stand by, I don't think he can stand by and have that debate about end state while, while he's killing his own people. It, it, by that point, it may, have, it, it may have become a moot point. And Martha's back with us from that U.S. naval base in Italy. Martha, we're just learning of the U.S. plan to hand over a huge portion of this operation. What more do you know tonight? Well, I talked with General Ham about this today. I think basically what NATO will take over is the no-fly zone, but there's still disagreement among the allies about who will protect civilians. In other words, some of the allies don't want to shoot down at tanks or forces of Gaddafi. So there's still a lot to work out here, David. All right. Martha Raddatz leading the way on this operation again for us tonight. Martha, thank you.